Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video here on my channel today. I'm actually going to be showing you guys a really awesome glitch tutorial on how to get them special leaked DLC t-shirts which I actually mentioned the other day during a video and showed you guys leaked images of. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get them in this awesome glitch tutorial today. In return, all I ask from you guys is a simple like rating on the video. Go ahead and smash that like button if you could. It'd be really highly appreciated and it'd definitely help this video out. With that said, subscribe to my channel if you are new for more awesome daily GTA 5 content. And last but certainly not least, before we start, just a massive shout out goes out to All Silenced. His channel link will be down below in the description because he allowed me to use his gameplay and I am deeply grateful. So firstly, I'd just like to point out that in no way, shape or form is this an easy glitch tutorial to follow or rather even for me to conduct because because it is pretty complex and can take from 5 to up to 20 minutes if you are new to this glitch. With that said, let's begin to the first step. Now if you are new to this one, you actually need to start in GTA Online and you need to ensure that your main character that you actually normally play with and you want these t-shirts on is uh, not wearing any masks, shirts, hats or any single item of clothing from any of the DLCs. So make sure he's not wearing any DLC items on your main character. Once you guys have done that, make sure your second character slot is free. If it's not, then go ahead and proceed to delete your second character as we are going to need a dummy character for the glitch process itself. Okay, so now that we're sure that our character is not wearing any DLC items and that our second character slot is free, from here go ahead and proceed to the campaign or the single player version of Grand Theft Auto 5 and go ahead and go to the online menu and go to choose character and go ahead and proceed to make a new character. You can make this character look exactly how you want, it doesn't really matter, you can choose the look for any character, it does not matter whatsoever. You can obviously choose the opposite gender as well, it has no effect on the glitch itself. Once you guys confirm these settings, you might get the option to skip the tutorial if you've already completed it before. But shown by the gameplay in the background, all silence chose to do the tutorial, I'm not really sure whether this affects a glitch, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Now once you guys have done that and you're online and you're not doing the tutorial or you've already done it, go ahead and switch back to your main character. Once that character has loaded into GTA Online, switch character again back to your second character. I know this can get kind of confusing so once you completed the tutorial or you skipped it, go back to your main character and then switch back to your second character. A message should come up on your second character asking if you want to alter the character's appearance. Now you guys actually need to stay on that screen. Once you are on that screen, then go ahead and proceed to sign out of Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network. And there are actually three ways that you guys can complete this. Number one, you either sign out of Xbox Live or PSN using the XMB menus. Secondly, you can unplug your Ethernet cable. And last but certainly not least, you can obviously unplug your modem or your router or your router and you can obviously power it off. Now once you guys have done that, a message should come back up onto the single player and it should say go back on single player, you've obviously been signed out of Xbox Live and PlayStation Network ID and you need to proceed back to single player, go ahead and accept this message. Once the single player is loaded, go ahead and uh, plug back in your Ethernet cable or sign back into your account, turn back on your modem and whatnot. And from here, go ahead and press start, go to online and go to the choose character option. And from here, what we did was we did the change the sex or the change the gender glitch and it was pretty easy to do. So go ahead and choose your main character and the game should be glitched out and it should give you the option. It says, are you sure you want to alter your character's appearance? And from there, go ahead and choose a female character. So you change your main character into a female. Anyone who is worried, into thinking that obviously this character is going to be lost or whatnot please do not think that because later on in the video as soon as I show you how to get all these uh, items and clothing items and whatnot I'm actually going to show you guys how to change your character back to a male so once you completed the whole gender swap glitch go ahead and proceed to your local you know friendly clothing store and choose as much clothes as you can random clothes and buy as much as you can as much as you can afford and once you guys are you know satisfied with the amount that you've bought obviously buy a substantial amount as shown by the gameplay in the background go ahead and go to the special or novelty items and choose one of these obviously special t-shirts and wear all of them uh, uh, through and just go through every single one and make sure you have worn all of them because from here it's actually going to be saved and registered that you have these t-shirts unlocked and when we change back to our original character or the original gender that we had whether it's male or female that you want to change back to then you'll actually have these t-shirts saved so as you guys can see they are the leaked DLC t-shirts so now that we've got the t-shirts unlocked and we got them obviously if you want to stay this gen gender you can but uh, the rest of the video I'm going to be showing you guys how to change back to your original appearance and gender so go ahead and proceed back to the single player once you guys are in single player go ahead and load back to GTA online by clicking start online and choose a character go ahead and proceed to choose your second character and what you guys need to do is actually delete your second character press square 
or X on the Xbox 360 and you need to type in delete to confirm this whole deletion of the second character only because the second character is kind of like a handle goods and we don't really like that and it does not work with the glitch itself. Once you've deleted the second character proceed to remake the second character it can be anything, any gender, you can name it anything and obviously you might have to do the tutorial itself. Obviously if you don't go ahead and proceed to skip the tutorial as it would make this glitch 100% more faster and more effective. Once you guys have done that and you spawned into G GTA Online as your second character, you guys might get the drill by now. Go ahead and change back to your main character. And once you are your main character, go ahead and choose back to your second character. And what this will do is it'll once again prompt us with the option, are you sure you want to alter your character's appearance? And from there we need to do the little lag switch, the whole pulling out the Xbox, uh, unplugging the Ethernet cable and whatnot. So go ahead and once you are your main character, choose your second character. It, it says, are you sure you want to alter your appearance? Go ahead and sign out on your PlayStation 3 or unplug your Ethernet cable on your Xbox 360. Once you guys have done that and you actually signed out, I should say you've obviously been booted from Grand Theft Auto Online. We've caught Franklin tripping over here. He just walks out of Taco Bell and whatnot. Go ahead and sign back into your PlayStation 3 Network ID account or your Xbox Live account. And go ahead and go to the choose character option. And from here, as soon as it does load, what you need to do is actually choose your main character and you'll get the chance to actually alter it. From there, you can change the gender, you can change the style of your the looks or whatever you guys really want to do. If you don't want to, then the glitch was over for you like two minutes ago. But if you want to go back to your main character, what it originally looked like, then from here you can pimp it out, change the appearance, change the gender to how you want. You can obviously rename the character also. And yeah, the glitch is all handy dandy and it's been complete. You can go back to your local friendly clothing store and you guys will notice that you have all the special and novelty items unlocked this rare DLC. I hope you did enjoy the video. It's really hard for me to commentate and get this footage by old silence and actually go through this whole tutorial. It's definitely not an easy one. All I ask from you guys is a simple like rate on this video go ahead and thumbs it up share it with your friends share it on forums whatever every single like comment rating whatever is really highly appreciated let's try and get 3,000 likes subscribe to my channel if you are new and be sure to check out all silence your channel link will be down below in the description be sure to follow me on twitter and like my facebook page for all the latest on what's going on in grand theft auto online and exclusive giveaways and content and much much more and finally check out my minecraft channel I'm doing daily videos on that there will be a link in the description my name is iCrazyTeddy, and i'll catch you guys there Peace.